Welcome to the homework for lesson five. This is module four of grade three. Write your name here first, please. And we're using the centimeter side of a ruler. That's the side. You, you may have a ruler that has centimeters and inches. We're going to use the side that's, that has in centimeters to draw in the tiles and then skip count to find the unknown area. It says write a multiplication sentence for each tiled rectangle. Now for the first one, you don't really have to use a ruler because the grid is all finished. You can see that there's one, two, three, four, five. It's going to be six centimeters long for 24 square centimeters. Um, this is going to be the same part B here is going to be the same rectangle. Uh, you need to use a centimeter ruler. And I'm going to have to size this size this up so that it matches a centimeter so I can actually use a ruler on my screen and what you do is you mark it like this one there one there and then down at the bottom mark it here and mark it there and then you can use your ruler as a straight edge which you, if you don't eyeball this you get I'm trying I'm trying to hold a ruler up against my computer screen and draw this and then you can just take the you also got to measure the other side too for this so we'll mark here here and there there and there and use the ruler as a straight edge hold it down with two fingers in the middle so it doesn't move when you draw your line don't try to do this just by hand because you won't get straight lines and your grid is going to be a total mess if you do it's not all that easy to do on a tablet screen there there and this is uh, six rows of four so it's six times four is 24. And we'll do the same thing here for 15 square centimeters. Now, it may turn out that a lot of times when these pages get printed out, the copy machines will scale them down a little bit so that these things won't be exactly a centimeter but and there's nothing you can do about that sometimes that's just what we have to work with just do what you can to try and make it look like they're all the same I'll mark it make a mark there and I use a ruler to measure a centimeter over from like there and then I can connect those two lines and then I can measure centimeters here same there 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 and there and I can finish And it's not going to be perfect, but we're using a ruler. We're trying to get the straightest lines we can, and we're trying to get it as much as, as close as we can. And that's the best I could do. Okay, so 15, this is five rows of three. So it's five times three equals 15. 
for 15 squares. And here's our last one for this page. Uh, let's see what we can do here. And I can see this isn't going to come out totally pretty either because that last one looks like it's pretty wide. And then the other side, the left side, I'll mark up from the bottom measuring centimeters and now I can draw my connecting lines using a straight edge there's three there And that's three rows of five. Three times five for 15 square centimeters. And you'll notice it's same. It's the same, right? It's five row, five times three, three times five. It's a commutative property. Allie makes a rectangle with 45 square inch tiles. She arranges the tiles in five equal rows. How many square inch tiles are in each row? So we need five rows, but we don't know how many are in each row. Well, you might already know. If you know your fives facts, Uh, you know that that will be 5, 10, 15, 20, it means we have 25, and this will be 30, 35, and now I'm going to have to make this rectangle longer, 40, And that means we need 45. One more column. So 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 times 9 equals 45. And this was really a division problem. So you could have looked at it also as 45 divided by. 5 equals 9. And uh, so now we've used, uh, we've got two equations. we got a labeled picture. 5, 9, 5, 9 labeled sides. And now we just need a sentence that says there are 9 tiles in each row. Leon makes a rectangle with 36 square centimeter tiles. There are four equal rows of tiles. How many tiles are in each row? Similar kind of problem but with different numbers. So we have four equal rows and I'm already thinking that there's a similarity here that this is going to take this off. Uh, if there were 10 in each row, then it would be it would be 4 times 10. It would be 40, but it's a little bit less, so it's it's going to be 4 times 9, which is 36. You could write this as 36 divided by 
4 or 4 times something equals 36 because you can always rewrite division as a missing factor equation. There's our four rows. And we can skip count if we want. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Is that 36 already? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, it is. So my last row is kind of wide, but I can... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I can fix it. Now I have to redraw all of that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's better. Four on this side, nine here, four there. I'm going to clean up the edge of my rectangle here. There. And I'm ready to write my answer. There are nine tiles in each row. Can Leon arrange all of his 36 square centimeter tiles into six equal rows? Use words, pictures, and numbers to support your answer. So if we have six equal rows, right, if this is a row of six, uh, there's six, there's going to be six in each column, right? If there's six rows, so there's six rows, that's going to be 12 tiles. And that's going to be 18 tiles, right? Because we have six rows, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and this is going to be, you know, the equations are going to be 36 divided by 6 equals something, or 6 times something equals 36. And if you know your facts, you may already know this without having to count, skip count. 24, those sixes are a little, certainly they're trickier than fives and tens, 36, and you can see that there's, this is a six by six rectangle. Yes, he can. He can make a rectangle. With six rows. Of six. And do the rectangles in parts A and B have the same total area? Explain how you know. Well, let's see. So A is 4 by 9 rectangle. So A is 4 times 9 equals 36. And these are square centimeter tiles and square centimeter tiles. So they're the same units. 36 square centimeters and B is 6 times 6 which equals 36 square centimeters both have
36 square centimeter total areas.